A-level maths is tomorrow, so here's some last minute tips so that we can all do well on this exam. So, okay, I've got my little whiteboard of tips. The first tip, check if your calculator is in radians or degrees. This is your reminder because the, the biggest thing is that we forget to actually check and we go into the exam wondering why is our answer to this question so weird and we forget to see if it's in radians or degrees. So this is your reminder, check if it's in radians or degrees. Another thing, please do not forget your constant of integration, your plus C, do not forget that because that's just losing stupid marks that we could obviously gain. And like, it, it's, it would just, you'd kick yourself if you found out after the exam that you forgot to include that. This is your reminder that with differential equations, the goal a lot of the time is to find y, like find y equals. A lot of people forget that they, there's actually a goal to differential equations, but that that is the goal basically. Write fast from the get-go. A lot of the times I'm sitting in an exam and I'm just writing normally and then halfway through I realize, wait, I have the ability to write faster. I just haven't been doing that. And I don't really understand why, but if I just remember from the very beginning that I can write fast, I feel like I would finish exams way quicker than I already do. This might vary based on exam board, but there's things um, in AS that are exclusive to AS and there are things in A2 that are exclusive to A2, but point is, go back to your AS content because a lot of the time people just focus on revising the A2 content because a lot of times it builds on what's in AS. But for me, for example, proof in AS is way harder than the proof in A2, so I always have to go back and properly revise that because I don't wanna just forget it. If the question starts talking about compound interest, money, or like banks, a lot of the time it is referring to sequences and series. Sometimes people don't realize that. So they think, oh, why are they asking me this question about banks and money? I don't understand how to answer it. A lot of the time you just need to think and make sure you can find a way to relate it to sequences and series. Not all the time, but a lot of the time it is. Just remember, you can check the number of solutions to a quadratic with the discriminant. So you can check is the discriminant bigger than zero. So two solutions equal to zero, one solution less than zero, no solutions. And you can also do the same thing with like, um, I think lines intersecting other lines, or if a line is a, if, if you have a tangent to a curve, you can do the discriminant as well. And if it's equal to zero, there's like, it's a tangent or something like that. Just remember that you can do that basically. Finally, please don't get thrown off by the fact that vectors might come up tomorrow. Like vectors is in pure and mechanics. A lot of people forget that. A lot of people think that vectors is just a mechanics thing. It's also in pure. So don't be thrown off if it comes up on the exam. It is in a pure topic. And that's all from me. Good luck on the exam. I will be sitting it with you. I do AQA. So if you want to talk about the exam after, I will be here. And yeah, we're going to smash it. We're going to do well. We've prepared. Um, hopefully all the A-level further math students don't raise the grade boundaries uh, so much. I say that. I am an A-level further math student. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, we'll smash it. Good luck. And I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe.